Hello and welcome back once again, my friends. We've got another exciting edition, I hope. Not too exciting, but exciting edition of Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft. And uh, we're going to load on up our Olympic flyover world and uh, get after it. Uh, still recording here on the 23rd. This is going to be my last episode. I think I got just time. This will fill us up nicely and lead into the opening ceremonies fun and all that. Uh, I'll probably do dinner and all that through, through that excitement. So, yeah, this is what, uh, what we've got. And we had, uh, left off with a dangling bit of fun that I just couldn't pass up, really. Um, I want to go find that, explore that boat, try not to drown or get tridented or anything, and uh, see if that is, in fact, a treasure right here on my doorstep. Whoa. All over the place. There we go, and then fairly straight west, kind of out around these islands. And from there, depending on where, if we can find a map, first of all, not every ship has a treasure map. If we get a treasure map, and uh, if we can get any goodies there, then we may uh, loop on back over to the desert and see if we can find some temples, too. I think we're due for some, some loots. And it looks like this is a good time as I need to eat some bread. Top off our human fuel. Alright, so we've got this access and let's widen it a bit. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. And it looks like we've come up on a mast. Get all the air. Back up. It's kind of nice to get the logs. And yeah, we can probably just turn right here. Uh, no. Yes, yes. Back up. Ooh, just made it. Okay, now... That may seal the fate of our treasure map. Oh, we got one. Ha ha ha. Get it, get out. Oh, get up. <clears throat> Come back down, get the wall of the paper and feathers. Could get us just enough arrows to start. Pick up this piece of wood. Hmm. Exactly what to make of all that, but we'll uh, we'll take it. Um, now, we want to go south. So we could have. Uh, we seem to be on the edge a little bit. And now there seem to be some massive mountains. Look at that crazy thing. 
That is wild. The little rock formation just sticking out there. Assuming that is not, a, it's, I don't think it's big enough to be amethyst, but pretty cool. All right, so we're got more desert to explore, so depending on what we get here, we can uh, head on in. Hi, turtle. <laughs> you want to come back with me, huh? All right, maybe. Um... Be just a little bit back. I don't know why we ended up with that. All right. Shovel. There we go, a whole bunch of stuff. All goodies. Two more. All right, turtle. You know what? I I don't think that's fair to you or your friends. To pull you away. I, mean, I think we've got tur Oh no. Uh, hang on. There we go. Now, can I get into the boat before he jumps in with me? So, last thing on the to do. Let's go. Fill in our map a bit here. Just a bit in this corner to get to. That back again. I guess we've uncovered most of this got a ravine that it shows um we'll kind of take a swoop here just in case there's anything noteworthy up kind of over that ridge maybe climb up that hill and loop back to the water and head on back home since we're full but at this point i think everything we got is good Other villages, temples, not too apparent if they're out there, but tough to beat all the stuff we just got. Well, that was a good chest. Still nothing, uh, nothing catching my eye. Feel free to shout in the comments if, uh, if you spot something that I missed and, uh, want me to circle back in future episodes, but... we've had anything too pronounced yet. It's an odd little birch tree over there. Oh, look, <laughs> it got shaved. I just right on the edge of the biome or something. Hmm. Strange. All right, well, Cool little spot. Lots of sand if we need it. It's 
just keep peeking in case uh, in case there's another outpost of villagers or something out there. Even pillagers, it would be good, better to know about them than not. A little depression here. Ooh, I'm liking it. Okay, it's getting a bit towards dark. That should be no problem for those of us with purple beds. And really good for us to have gotten a bit more exploring done. I guess we don't need to carry that map around in front of our face anymore. Oops. I know it's it's getting dark. Oh, that's too close for a too close for a thumbnail. Ooh, how about you sunset cow? Hey, Sunset Cow. Perfect. Alright. We need to... That. Switch out that. And get a good night's sleep for a big row back. All right. Well, that's more landmass discovered, and we don't really know yet if this eventually ties back into what we're what we're a part of or not. We had seen taiga trees, and I think this is kind of our our entrance back in. So yeah, we could maybe do that all overland if we wanted to. Or these are entirely different islands and um, now potentially becoming hopelessly lost. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there, but... Those are some formidable looking islands. Alright, this is our little entrance nook. Oh, such goodies to put away. Like zombie flesh. Paper, feathers, gunpowder, and books. Oh, and the sea stuff. The food. Lots of that. And the suspicious stew. Gunpowder and that go away. Treasures. How often is it we have all of these and nothing else? Actually, these go down one. Go. Sand. Not the planks. And more iron to replace our tools. Uh, can't do anything with that yet. We would need leather to hang it, so no great hurry. Let's. We're still not at night pretty close, right? Or not? Why is it so darkish? Could we have been in the desert? We've gotten sand sun blindness. Alright, well, we've we've had plenty of sleep. Let's go start trying to make sense of what we're doing down here. Don't know what we're going to do for stairs yet. We can hop a few times. Let's 
So this was going to be, no, this is 8. You're already too low. This is 11. So let's see how this just plays out, and we can make adjustments as needed. Oh, and we need one more here. Then we come back across here. Quickest first section ever. You guys are loving it. Redstone we actually harvested. sound so now we'll just kind of try to extend everything a section out around the part we've already covered to see if things like this are there I'll leave that sealed for a moment to have the iron when it comes to all this deep slate. Once we get to our diamonds, then we can bemoan how slow, <laughs> slow this is, but right now it feels pretty quick. Just a little bit careful over on that side to not open ourselves up to anybody. Again, now we're after that little treasure bit and the village. I feel like we're a little ahead, right? We've got so much iron and all that. Now the game's going to come at us, try to give us a couple good punches in the jaw and uh, see if we're game and man we haven't been so we gotta gotta be ready for it when it comes okay That looks sealed off. This is pretty secure. Uh, let's get prepared before we go in. Top everything off. Our food is good. screen is like a little kicked up and the power light on my uh, on my monitor seems to be so much more reflective now uh, lots of water seems like we're pretty well sealed in here, which is good. All right, well, that should help our excavations shortly, but at the moment, at least, we're OK. 
Okay. Let's finish up this section. And just double check that this is not... I don't see how with the lava right there it could be dark enough to spawn anything, but... Don't want to leave it to chance. Alright, there's one side. Kind of exciting. Got a water section and a lava section. Had a water section. Not so much anymore. Ooh, some more out this way. Again, we may may expand the roof later. We'll see what what comes of it. But without tools, uh, without better tools, and not knowing if we'll survive, frankly, I'd rather keep it manageable. our space, get some tunnels going, see what's what's out there. And again, we'll try to push east for the most part, going under land. Do a double on the way back and just take these down. Nice part is right now we're still ahead on iron because we just got all that out of the out of the ship loot or the buried treasure, so we'll eventually hit into our supply a little bit, but and we have those few pieces um over in that section we exposed so we could come back for more there uh, so it looks like we're going to be shoveling quite a bit if that's the one that goes all the way across uh, let's do that I think that was yeah it's five in between anything obvious up ahead overhead Three. All right, 
stone shovel. What do you what do you have for all this gravel? Ooh, we got enough to make uh, a target? I don't know how Or was that our first flint? Maybe that's what it was. said pretty much anything can stay in a basement floor but I don't like the gravel I know we just walked over it to get there so it's not a trap but there we go and now a lot of our section work is already done thank you gravel even if you made us clear you with stone shovels. push it. I don't think it had enough to quite finish us up here, so... Hey, hey, not too bad, huh? Alright, how we doing? Got lots of picks left. So now is when it can get a little interesting. Because this will eventually push back towards that ravine. some of our own gold. Alright, we should have one more. And then back out. seeing that gold there in the distance. But what we haven't seen naturally in this little basement space yet are blue friends. 
either of the blue friends, really. We haven't seen any lapis yet, either. side um <laughs> let's do that All right, one more pick a few more spots to throw stuff so this could work out just right Take a sip here. It was more than a, a sip. I almost drained the, the cup. Granted, it was the Arnold Palmer I'd uh, brought out three, four episodes ago. The ice melted, made a nice little puddle. <laughs> I carefully kept it away from all the electronics. Hey, there we go. Alright. One more of these. Now, I think at a minimum, we can take this one off. We'll see what we want to do about covering the stairs and all that in a bit. Well, there we go. We've got uh, got a little bit of a basement set up, ready to go. Um, Let's go for this one too. It's it's already partially done anyway. Well, I did put in that extra one, right? Yep. are all covered. Just want to make sure we're not exposing out little ledges, spawning platform kind of deals. Don't mind the roof line, like I said, too much right now. We can do more if we want to later. iron that we knew was out here. It's where we pay for all our work. Yeah, 
and we don't have much to do here because we hit the lava obviously before we get to torches. So now I do really think we're getting getting about to our limit here. Trying to clear out that whole next section to the lava is going to be tough. So let's make the hop climb. So let us fuel up on bread again. Well, that was very productive. We didn't didn't find diamonds, unfortunately. But we've got a lot of goodies. Look that over. Top these off. And we're almost out of stone shovel business. Uh, Start here. Tough. Deep slate, andesite, these are both gravels. Redstones, almost have a stack of that. Alright. Eat again. And then make Four picks. And set that one off to the side. We'll need one iron shovel to replace the one of those. And that's about it. Still have 19 in reserve. Use that first. Those away, those away, and those. Go grab them. Alright. Day's still in effect. Let's close the door. We have our bed. Still had one more a little bit down here, right? Back from that way. That was where the creeper was waiting for us. I think all that's pretty well cleared. A little more light. And yeah, this should remain entertaining. iron up there, but let's light things as we go. Looking for holes in the ceiling. That good old trick. Minecraft's greatest Troll. Oh, yeah, creeper on your head. No sizzle. Boom. Uh, let's see what. Ooh, ooh. Let's 
What's he going to come around to us? Yep. Okay. Not great. But now that we got him... Oh, no, we may not be done there yet, but we're at least we're safe. So let's go... See how far this hallway goes. All right, safe here. Um, a lot of loot. Should we? Well, let's keep going. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So easy to forget, and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, be left wondering that you might as well. Clear it once you're more or less confident. Less in our case. You're not much more confident. Throw a torch. We're getting a lot of coal here. Try to kind of build up as we take this out. <coughs> Man, frog. Too much talking. And I haven't even been overly animated despite the I did not go under that gravel You're lying despite all the deaths there wasn't any screaming yelling just resigned oh see what of all this stuff we can get to from up here Hardly even see it out there. Uh, oh, and of course there's more coal. Now this is setting me up for danger because I'm basically creating those ravine drops up here that can always have a creeper hanging out. So I'll just cover healthily with torches. Grab up all this. I think we're good on tools again. We were down to 20 some. 18 so far. Uh, coal here. Let's just pull. straight up, of course, uh, be ready. <laughs> I know the deal is never ever, but it's like with art or music. Once you, once you know the rules and you understand why they're the rules, then you can break them sometimes for effect. Um, when you understand that gravel, sand, uh, lava, and to a lesser extent, water can all be dangerous, or you could expose access to a mob to fall down on your head. 
then you're uh a little bit more set to accommodate but uh, let's just merge these Feeling we're getting close on time again. We'll wrap this this up regardless. Even if we we've had a lot of shorties <laughs> with the deaths, so one went one went pretty long. Copper, not the real prize here, but when you're up in a roof and you know you're not going to be back up in it, just grab what you can. All right, still going. Fill our inventory just with goodies. Okay, now look at that. I think that's all lit pretty well. Keep us safe. Gather up all the spills. Okay. Seems dark. do them like this it's great just remember don't leave any any of that stuff make a big old ceiling the light doesn't matter there shouldn't be anything to spawn in it but um, just don't leave those shelves I don't think we're gonna be able to get all of this but kind of clear the path of it. Alright, good, 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 good. No holes, no ledges. sufficiently well lit. <laughs> Get ready. This is not gonna not gonna end soon because it just keeps giving. hole completely. I think we're far enough back that we're not going to get in like night wander type stuff. We may be all the way through the night by now, honestly. Although I doubt it. We can usually usually do quite a bit of improving on our mine or something like that. But let's just to see if we can. Let's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they were all my screenshots when I was, uh, was it the cow? Whatever I was trying to grab a snap of.
20. Buckle your seatbelts now, because this is a this is a ratchet up. Like 20 and 40 always to me feel like, okay, you're getting a curveball coming. Get ready. But I don't know that that would be down here exactly. Kind of. We put in the work, I guess. We've prepared this area for extraction without incident, I hope. Uh, and just be really thorough. Look at all that coal. Oh, it's so good. Do that, do that. More iron than we had when we started repairing tools the last time. More iron here. This makes me just a touch more nervous. Just because we already had one bad incident and the water does cover a little bit of sound. You know, it... hear that? Gonna drop on my head. I don't think he's right here with us, but regardless, we'll leave him to live a fulfilling skeleton life because <laughs> it seemed interesting timing considering we slept or woke up ages ago and things are still just waiting for us to come to the surface. Uh huh. All right, um, while we're up here and we have it, let's keep working on our trees a bit. At some point we'll do ladders and clear these big ones. Another cave? Yeah. Might just be a hole. Didn't we walk by one that was pretty shallow? Uh, there was one in the desert, I know, but I think in that first episode. reaching for a bow. Come on up here to the open air, buddy. There you go. We'll play. We got we got wide open spaces here. We don't uh don't yet have the uh, the oomph to play creeper games, but let's see come where we can get them. I'm sure you savvy viewers already know, those of you who've seen previous worlds that haven't ended in the same episode they began, kind of what this work is leading into. Yeah, I'll take your XP. Oh, come on up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've unleashed the Kraken. Oh, I kind of got worried about that back edge. <laughs> that totally caught me off guard. You'd be, whoa. Uh, oops. At 
least he could have done would have been to take out the zombies a bit more. Um, so, yeah, this is not just a shallow hole. There were masses down there. Here, a skelly. That may have tied into some of that other... Close to the other cave that we were in. Is what can happen once you torch everything up and you're just hanging out down there in a spawnable area, they're going to fill whatever spot you uh, you don't have lit. So that's where sometimes you will get... Come on. Oh, you're my candidate, buddy. Oh, you gotta come up, too. Oh, man. Oh, I missed him. Oh, boy. This is really backwards, because we should be above knocking him down when they're... When they're coming off the high ground like that, it, uh... It's tougher to knock them back, obviously. Um... Yeah. Where were you when the creeper was coming up, buddy? Huh? Oof. There you go. You guys go dance. What? <laughs> Oh, we've got the video evidence there. I'm going to go back and watch the footage. I, there was a zombie and a skeleton, and the skeleton had caught on fire from the uh, the zombie who was burning. And then when the zombie died, there was a fresh new skeleton. What's that all about? He's way too close. There's another creeper way down there. I kind of want to play creeper games. Am I crazy for that? Oh, apple. Squirrel. Okay. If I did... Oh, wait. What's back there? Gotta think this will open that up, right? Or are they come are they flanking me? <laughs> what? There you go. Alright, creeper skelly games. Creeper, I'm looking at you first. Where'd he go? <sighs> All right, well, I took care of the skill. There you are. Where, <laughs> where were you when I wanted you to come up here, buddy? Oh, and another one? to go anyway. See, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, let's call it good. I'm sure we're long now. Uh, so let's race on back to base. Not press our luck when this game has been so good to us. Oh. 
Arrow, zombie flesh. Looks pretty good. I don't think we have food. Couple of those. Bit of that. Bit of that. Did I leave? Was this my first gold ore from that same trip? We just not cooked any, or did I put it somewhere? I guess not. Alright, we'll start there. Now I know we're so saving up the copper. Eventually we can do that in full bulk batches. Seed. Top off that chest, we'll just set everything up for the next one. I don't like you knocking at my door, pal. There's that. going to keep us from sleeping, unfortunately, which would have been a nice way to end the episode, but oh well, we will, uh, we'll leave it here and, uh, be on back to see you guys in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed, uh, let me just check to make sure our time is, yeah, hour three, right there. So we've, uh, I'd say we've had a very good episode to feature pack. Sure was. We had just a super bountiful cave. Uh, we got our basement mine kind of knocked up and going, so we can now start pushing tunnels out to the east to look for diamonds. We went on a great boat trip where not only did we find buried treasure from a ship, um, but we explored some desert land and got to see a cow that I took a picture of. So that'll be our thumbnail. Um... Awesome. I'm so glad you guys were here with me, and I'm glad we didn't die. Uh, it's awesome. We got uh, got a next episode coming. We'll live to see another day. So uh, you guys take a great break. I know uh, a bunch of content went up today, so uh, certainly backed up. Whenever you guys do get to these, there will probably be some other, uh, other videos out there waiting for you. If that's the case, they'll always be there ready, so you can... Uh, afford a nice little break. Take care of your body too. Thank it for, uh, for letting you play these games and stuff like that by taking care of it. So, uh, in that vein, take care of yourselves and we will see you back here for the next one. Likes and comments appreciated and subscribe. will let you know when the next one comes up. See ya.